worked. Okay, we're headed out to a city called Portage right now. So, so far on some of the tests I've done, it seems to work pretty well. Image quality looked pretty good. Um, lenses are a little dark for me and they're polarized, which makes it a little bit harder to see uh, what's going on on some of my electronic devices. It looks like it's working okay on my uh, mapping system for my car, uh, which is a good thing. But on my phone, it's really hard to see on that, uh, I think it's a Super AMOLED screen or something like that. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, the sound, I did a little test a little bit earlier, was pretty good. Um, what makes this camera pretty nice is that you actually can adjust the um, vertical angle of the camera, which in some of the previous iView cameras from what I saw um, really kind of left you in an unusual angle. It didn't orient exactly where you were looking. Uh, so since this is adjustable, that's good. Uh, the way to check that is obviously with your um, phone. You can hook into the app and see exactly what the camera's seeing. The biggest problem is, is that app, or I'm sorry, the Wi-Fi being on really seems to burn the battery down really fast. So that might be something you want to consider. Uh, try not to run with it. Once you get the angle set, it should be okay. But I noticed even while I'm driving, the angle's a little bit different than when I'm walking. Uh, one other thing too that doesn't seem to be any image stabilization uh, Which wasn't expected it wasn't advertised as having that but it would be nice um, You know as technology gets better. I think that'll become more of a standard, but um, I don't think they could do optical image stabilization One other nice thing about these glasses too is they are not as obtrusive looking as some of the other uh, Camera glasses that I've seen these actually do not have a big point in the middle where the camera is it actually is really pretty compact looks other than the kind of very very dark overall look it looks like a pair of sunglasses which for you people who are interested I guess in spine or whatever you're doing uh, I guess that would work for certain people but um, not uncomfortable the plastic seems to be kind of a rubberized um, plastic so it seems pretty resistant it has a uh, rubber seal that covers up the um, interface which is at the bottom on the interface is a micro USB port for charging and I would imagine you could probably take information off of it that way too as a uh, area for removable micro SD card I have a class 10 micro SD 128 gig card in there right now and um, that's pretty much it, as far as I can say. So right now we're just doing a uh, simple drive. Uh, typically I don't like watching people drive around. I'm not doing anything exciting. This car is exciting. I could do some crazy stuff in it, but I'm not going to. Um, so that's really pretty much it. Um, let me think, what else could I tell you? Uh, it did come with a pair of yellow lenses. I'm hoping there are a pair of clear lenses that will be available later on because I don't really like the look of yellow lenses. And these lenses are so black that uh, I look like I have like a, a vision problem or something like that. And I'm trying to protect my eyes. But uh, the glasses overall have a pretty nice look to them. Um, I'm also curious about that battery time. Unfortunately, I had to run on Wi-Fi for a little while. So I don't know how much battery time I actually have available right now. Um... But that is pretty much it. Um, I'm going to try to stop. Oh, by the way, too. Uh, so you can take pictures with this, too. Um, you can take pictures while you're doing video. And you can also take pictures while you're in uh, so-called standby mode. So let me try to do one right now behind a bus right now. So I think you double-click. 